Hey, Don here. Okay, uh, back with another uh, not live stream. Uh, check over here that everything is working. I'm going to close that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, looks like, yeah, we're recording. Okay, because it says pause recording. And I see my audio, because I can't, it's not a live stream this time, so I can't look over there and see if it's working. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we're using uh, Simple Stream Recorder because we are trying to fix OBS Studio, and uh, I can't. It doesn't do cameras just desktop, but since I can bring my cameras in here, like doing that, and hit full screen, or I can go to camera. You know, it's not actually full screen though. That's all you get, and then I can do that and hit uh, full screen on that and get a bigger view. Uh, I could use a uh, could open up this this uh, you know IP and <coughs> you have to do it just right in uh, uh, VLC but it's fiddly so that's pretty easy since I've got those shortcuts in there I use them to just set up the uh, zoom of the cameras and stuff usually but uh, let me get over here on uh, yeah there's my video I'm making on the right side Went and got me some pro protein chocolate, ch chocolate, uh, hot chocolate mix. I needed something to pick me up. Well, I was going to say what it's called. I think it's called Pure Protein Brand, but it's this protein powder mix. And I just put it in water because, well, I don't drink milk because it bothers my stomach. Plus, since I'm diabetic, milk already, you know, a cup of uh, like 16, you know, 8 ounces of milk or 16 ounces or whatever you get. That's going to have a pretty good amount, little amount of sugar there in it already. And then, well, there's not much in this powder at all. I think it's three grams per serving, and serving is about a quarter of a cup, I think. I'm guessing there's a little plastic measuring cup. I don't use that much any unless I'm, I don't use that. Well, I used more just now because I used three very heap, four very heaping teaspoons. If I'm using a coffee cup, I'm using a bigger cup. Um, I already closed my browser. I'd show you. Anyway, I'm using a. I'm probably got about eight ten ounces, and it doesn't mix very good in water. But if you warm it up in the microwave, that's why I make hot chocolate. It will taste better, but it makes it to mix better, dissolve better. Okay, so I uninstalled OBS Studio, and of course this time I. Uh, <coughs> I've already moved my config file, OBS config file, no OBS. I, I moved it, I renamed it to BK, you know, and uh, moved it to another folder. And so now when I install OBS, it won't have any of my uh, settings that I've made in there in case that's what's breaking it. <clears throat> I kind of think it's a bug in the newest version, but uh, we'll find out. Hopefully by doing this. Now I'm going to go reinstall OBS Studio. I could go... Instead of doing it in DNF, I could do it in the terminal just to... Um, let me, yeah, let's open up the browser again. I remember finding the instructions... And uh, so I should be able to get to those, get that extra deal out of there. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, yeah, okay, I think I remember where I've got it. OBS, and then I've uh, been doing lots of... Searching, so I'm going to reorganize everything. There it is. Well, that's the download page. I don't want to download it. It's in the it's in the Fedora repositories. If you have RPM Fusion, it might be better to do that. I think that might be what they recommend now. Um, I 
Yeah, they're just showing downloads in there. They do have GitHub. Let's look on GitHub. I think that's what might, maybe that's where I saw the instructions on how to install it. I think then again, that could have been an older page. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and install it in DNF. I've been in there several times lately, so not a problem to do it that way. But this is that's all. That's their download page. So let's just go back into DNF. Or to Dragora. I call it DNF ever since they uh, changed to DNF. It's easier to say DNF than Dragora, that's for sure. Kind of check my phone, make sure it's working while I have a chance. It's the only way I know if it's working. I guess I was live streaming with this app a while ago and it was. Stream stayed yellow the whole time, and then it went red, and then it went back to yellow. And the first time I tested it, it stayed yellow the whole time. So I was worried that it was going to quit on me altogether, so I decided to make a file. But now I don't have no way of knowing if it's working without sitting here long enough to watch that file grow a little bit. There it went. It might be better to stream after all. <clears throat> but since I'm like I am, I'm going to stay like I am. Um... As soon as that reloads, was one of the reasons why I thought about doing it in the command line. I know I saw the command somewhere, but now I don't remember where. And I don't want to just guess at it. So I know there's two main parts to it. There's really only two parts that, you know, make it work. I swear, last week or week before, I was hitting enter and it was searching. But I don't think it does now, or did it. All right, OBS build. Now, there is another OBS, OBS build. I saw it in the Bane just a minute ago. It's a generic package build script, and it provides a script for building packages in CH root environment. It is commonly used with the open build service as the engine for building packages for wide variety of distributions. Oh, that's a different one. There's another one. See, I went and looked at my domain aid in, uh, in, domain aid in my, lap, my Dell 6000 laptop. It's older, so it's running an older version of domain. I've got nine on my newer laptop. But um, the only OBS in there was one that was open build service, I think is what it was called. Is that what this is called? This is something else all even. And what it did uh, was allow you to in, uh, install RPM packages on the bank. <clears throat> so you got to pay attention to what OBS you're getting. And uh, that's still part of that OBS build. Now, OBS Studio. Now, I am going to go ahead, let's see, 21.1. That's six, uh, 686. It's a 64-bit machine. So I could install that, and it might work, but... First, I want to see if it has, I'm going to install the newest one like I had them already and see if it has, if that's got anything to do with it. Now, that'll probably install the, uh, what was it, OBS Libs. Let's, uh, if you select, sometimes when you select the wrong thing, you mess things up. So let's hit uh, apply, see if it puts it in there. It should. And, and since I have deleted my config files out of everything in the OBS folders here that stayed behind last time when I uninstalled it, I'm hoping it will be back to scratch and maybe it'll actually stream without crashing it. Uh, I want to at least have to see. Now let's hit apply. Okay, OBS Studio, OBS Libs, the right one to go with it. XT64 uh, encoder. Uh, embed TLS and FFmpeg and what I'm gathering see I'm using FFmpeg just to record with right now so evidently when you install FFmpeg with an for an app it installs with it and in its folders so uh, <clears throat> a little screenshot of that and uh, oh yeah put in root password I 
I re I rebooted the machine just for good measure. You usually don't have to do that when you install you know install update or reinstall. Sometimes when you're reinstalling, you're trying to fix something broke. It I figure it's a good idea because there just might be something left behind uh, that's not going to get cleaned out until you reboot. You know, if there is anything that needs to be cleaned up, you usually do have to reboot to get it to do that. Uh, when you're doing a, you know, uninstall. <coughs> So, or you know, of course, with with updates, there are some that have to have a reboot. But it'll it'll tell you, or well, my server just does it automatically. But that's the way I want it. But this one, it'll, it should tell me. This. But it does set on automatic updates. That's the thing. If I install an older one, if it updates in a few hours, and it'll just update it. So I got to figure out. There is a way to hold back, or at least there is in Fedora Server Edition. I think I could do it in here too. I have to go back and research that. So first I want to see if this will fix it. Well, I don't want to be holding back everything. You know, I could turn off automatic updates, but I don't want that. I want my security updates. So, uh, yeah, it tells you where you're at. It's at 405 at the bottom left. Even though the blue line is at 100%, it says it's 405. And the little ball is still spinning, so... I usually don't sit and watch. I usually go off and do other things, and then when I get back, now something else, no FF, MPEG, and MBEG. Uh, so that was, uh, oh, I was 100% of whatever it was doing, so it's not 100% overall. That's really not the way it used to be, and it's confusing. Used to, you had a little terminal window that you could uh, open up and watch every little detail if you wanted to, to make sure it's happening. And, um, uh, Yum extender and then in DF DNF extender or Yum extender DNF, whatever they called it. not exactly a terminal window I mean you couldn't you couldn't uh, type in it and do anything but it was a readout terminal readout of sorts now that's it so the little ball is still spinning so it's not completely done yet now I, it's done now if I wasn't sitting here watching it you'd still be wondering if it was done because <clears throat> that doesn't that progress doesn't always stay there I've seen it set there and not be done, and that progress not be there at the left side. Okay, so should be able to quit without. You hope it would warn you if it wasn't done, but I'm I'm re, I'm you know I'm 99.9 percent .9 sure it was done just then because I sat there and watched it. All right, now we've got OBS. We should have OBS. Let's look and see if we have a. I'm still in a config folder. Still nothing OBS in there. Okay, so probably when I open up OBS, it'll put that in there. So, let's see. I guess I'll open it up. Since I've got this one that I'm recording on over in the OBS, where I usually put OBS, I'll put this one over here. Okay, now, let's see. Should already be in the uh, applications menu maybe yeah there it is capture and import oh yes all right yeah now it's doing see before last time it just opened up and had all my profiles and everything in there but you used to do the lot GNU public license version two. They're not using V three for some reason. It's fine, it's just kind of unusual. <clears throat> okay. Would you like to run the auto configuration wizard? You can also manually configure your settings. Yes, I do want to run the auto configuration wizard. Okay. Specify what you want the program for. Streaming. Or I want to optimize it for streaming. Now, base canvas, 1920 by 1080, yes. 
frames per second 60 or 30 but prefer 60 no I want 30 okay that this machine could never handle doing 60 okay, I'm gonna do 30 it does that just fine now then notice no the the canvas base resolution is not necessarily the same as a re resolution you will be you will stream or record with your actual stream recording resolution may be scaled down from the canvas resolution to reduce resource usage or bitrate requirements all right next streaming service oh youtube now <coughs> primary YouTube and just server now you can do backup and you can set one up you know you can have two machines running one as a backup and one as a primary now then I've got to put my stream key in there now the video bitrate is defaulted at 2500 but YouTube says they want 3500 estimate bitrate with bandwidth test may take a few minutes I may do that uh, I got to get over here now. Of course, the thing I need to do is do this without showing it. So I'm trying to think how in the world can I do that since I can't switch to a camera or anything. <laughs> um, this may have me have to stop my video in order to do this this part right here. Can't think of any way to do it. But oh, I'll show you where you go to get it. If you do, since you may not know that, I have links here. You know, you go to your live dashboard in YouTube for your channel. Page on down, and this is the URL for the. Uh, it's an RTMP URL. If you need that, I did need it. You do need it for. Uh, you have to manually put all that in for simple screen recorder, but not for you, for OBS Studio. There's your stream key. Of course, it's hidden. You click reveal, and then you can just copy and paste it. But of course, I can't. I'm in the middle. I, I, there's no way to hide what I'm doing here. That there's no fancy blurring or any of that kind of stuff in this application. OBS. Well, OBS probably would do that if I learn how to do it. But uh, what I usually do is just switch to a camera. But I can't switch to a camera and do this, so it's not going to work. So. Um, I'm going to have to stop this uh, recording and uh, start again in a minute. That's all I can do. I'm looking to see that it's still recording. I'm going to just hope that it is, I guess. Yeah, there it is. All right, I'll be back as soon as I get my private things set up.